What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to create a cutting diagram in SketchUp. So a diagram where you can uh, plan out how you're gonna cut different parts and pieces of wood for a woodworking project. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And uh, I do wanna take a second and just thank all of my supporters on Patreon. Um, as most of you know, Patreon is the way that uh, I kinda keep this channel going and uh, I can afford to buy new extensions and bring new things to the show. So I just wanna say thank you to everyone that's supporting me on Patreon. If you're interested in supporting the show, please check out that link in the notes below. All right, so uh, like I said, uh, a cutting layout is basically a diagram that you can create in order to plan what material you're gonna get out of a sheet of plywood. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out the parts and pieces for some drawers in a cabinet that I've been working with. So this is a cabinet that I've created um, using an extension called GK Wear Cabinet Maker. And um, basically, so that's a very high level or a very uh, complex cabinet making extension that you can use to create very, uh, very detailed cabinets. And in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna take some of the drawers out of this and um, figure out how we're gonna get them out of a sheet of 5 8 inch plywood. And so what we're going to do, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a couple copies. And so actually before we even do that, what we could do is we're going to want to come in here and we're going to want to color everything up a little bit. And so the reason I want to do that is because when you start moving this into the individual parts and pieces, you're going to want to know which colored pieces um, or which pieces in your cutting layout correspond to which pieces in your model. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to cut or I'm going to color all these pieces up. And so to do that, I'm just going to use the materials section of my tray, and I'm just going to pick a couple different materials. So in this case, you may have to come in here and do each one of these individually. And so I'm just going to come in here, and I'm just going to apply colors to each one of these. And the way these are kind of grouped um, is uh, making this a little bit difficult. So that's just what this does what this extension does is it really nests a lot of this stuff really deep so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just create a copy of each one of these and move it off to the side because these are components and so when we color one of them up they'll all color up anyway and so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and with the parts and pieces that we want we're going to make a copy off to the side so in this case i'm going to use the move tool in copy mode to go ahead and create these copies so i'm going to activate the move tool by tapping the m key i'm going to click on this corner and I'm gonna tap the control key. And you can see how when I tap the control key with the move tool active, what that does is that creates a copy instead of making your original, or instead of moving your original. So for now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna move copies of these three pieces off to the side here. And you can see how right now that's a little bit problematic because this box kind of extends with it. And so what we've done is we've actually um, made copies of this inside this component. And so what we want to do is we want to get those out of there. And so in order to do that, we're just going to select these objects. We're going to click edit and we're going to click cut. We'll click outside that component. So we're not in a component anymore. And then we'll do a paste in place. So now all of those are outside of this component. And so now what we want to do is we just want to come in here and we just want to color everything up. Now I can get to it a little bit better. And uh, you can see how I'm actually having to come in here and select the actual geometry inside these components in order to color them up because of the way this is all grouped. And you can see how since this is a component, this one colored up as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I'll select kind of a green color for this one. And then the same thing on this bottom one here, we'll put probably kind of a blue color on this one. And again, this is just so you can see where the different parts and pieces came from. So you can see that this color corresponds with this piece, this color corresponds with this piece, this one corresponds with this piece. So now we've got our three, um, three drawers that we wanna work with kind of moved off to the side. Now we're gonna kind of line them up and get them ready for creating our cutting diagram. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all of these up and down on the blue axis so that they're like flat with the bottom of this piece. So in this case, I'll move this one over and then I'll move it down and I'm just holding the shift key when I'm doing this to lock this to the axis so that I can use kind of inferencing to kind of line everything up. So now I've got everything flat on this axis. So now what we've got is we've got our different parts and pieces in here. And uh, now what we can do is we can go ahead and create our cutting diagram. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a rectangle 
that's the size of a sheet of plywood. So in this case, I'm gonna draw a four foot by eight foot rectangle. So I'm gonna do eight foot comma four foot. I'm using the rectangle tool in order to do that. That's assuming that you're working with a four foot by eight foot sheet. And so you can see how now if I was to come in here and I would measure this, this is eight foot long and four foot wide. And what you can do is you can either leave this face in here or you can delete it out. Um, I do recommend putting all of these in a group just so that everything's kind of organized and uh, working the way that you want it to. And then now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these parts and pieces and we're just gonna move them over here. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make another copy of this object and put it over here. So I'm just gonna hold the control, I'm gonna activate the move tool, click on this corner, tap the control key to move this over here. And I'm just going to inference that over so it sits right on this corner point. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start moving these parts and pieces out. So, you can see how since these aren't components anymore, it's not affecting this piece anymore. Well now I can just move all the parts and pieces apart and see what I'm working with. So in this case, I've got five different pieces. Well, I can start by lining this object up with this corner. And actually, honestly, you can see how these are all kind of in a group right now. You can probably just explode your group so each one of these are in here as just individual items. And then when you do that, now you can come over here and you can lay these objects down by using the rotate tool. So you can see I'm kind of moving that over and then I'm just gonna activate the rotate tool and use that to lay these pieces down. So you can see how I laid this down flat and I'm gonna move this over. And in this case, these actually seem like they're a little bit thicker, but let's go ahead and assume all of these. We'll just push pull this up so that it's level. And so you can see how I'm coming in here and I'm just using the rotate tool in order to lay these pieces down. And one trick about the rotate tool is you can tap the arrow keys to lock it to the various axes. So if I wanna lock this to the red axis, for example, I'm just gonna tap that right arrow key and I'm just gonna lay this object down. So, and you could kind of flip that if you wanted to using the scale tool. I mean, at this point, we're just kind of moving pieces around so we can see how they fit. So in this case, I'll lay this piece down and then I'll rotate it. You can see how I'm able to move everything around real quickly using the rotate tool. And then I'm just using inferencing to kind of get everything to line up. So you can see how that corner point will line up with this corner point over here. And so you can do this with all of your different various parts and pieces. So again, I'm just gonna create a copy of this shelf and I'm just gonna move it over here so that it's kind of level. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this last drawer. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna explode it and move all the various parts and pieces kind of out so I can see what I'm working with. And again, I understand that all of these, it kind of drew with a different thickness, but we're just gonna assume they're all the same thickness for this exercise. All right, so you can see how now if you get all these in this box, you could come in here and you could get all of these parts and pieces out of a sheet of plywood. So you can see how this would all kind of fit in here. You could use this in order to kind of keep everything, um, in order to see what you're gonna be able to use. But sometimes what might happen is you may, for example, want to approach this a little bit differently. And so what you can do in order to approach this differently is you can just select everything and you can just make a copy over here and by doing that, you can come in here and you can look at various different options for how you could lay everything out. Like for example, you know, let's say that you wanted to take all of your big pieces from this side over here. Well, you can uh, just create an alternate layout over here where you can take all your big pieces and do them this way. And so you could move, move some of these parts and pieces in here and see that you could probably get this piece. And so, this is especially useful for like, let's say you only have like half a sheet of plywood, like not a full sheet. Well, now you can come in here and you could see 
what you could get out of that half sheet of plywood. So that's the nice thing about this is you can kind of make some alternate layouts and kind of play around with this to uh, maximize your material usage um, based on what you have. So you can see how you could probably get approximately this much out of half a sheet of plywood. And you could also come in here and you could create dimensions and that sort of thing. So if you wanted to come in here and kind of figure out like exactly how big these parts and pieces were, you could add some dimensions in here in order to mark that up so that you could like print this off and take it out into a shop and work with it that way. So once, once you get kind of the basics of this laid out, then it becomes very simple to look at different options. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Was it helpful to you? Or would you like to see anything different? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider visiting my support me page on my website. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash support. That's got links to a few different ways that you can help support the show. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.